PlayStation, a staple of many homes and rival to the Xbox, caused many a fight on the playground and probably still does to this day. But out of the hundreds and hundreds of games released across its five mainstream consoles, which have come out on top and which have sunk to the bottom? In the next series of videos we're going to be looking at 36 of the best ever PlayStation games. These can range from many on PlayStation 1 all the way up to PlayStation 5. So let's get into it. Hello everyone, this is Xstar Killer X here, and today we're going to be looking at 12 of the best PlayStation games ever released. And today we're going to be looking at ranks 36 through 25, and these are based on Metascore. Number 36, Street Fighter 4, released by Capcom in 2009 on the PlayStation 3. Metacritic score 94. Street Fighter 4 is a 2.5D fighting game, which was released, of course, in 2009. It was the first original main entry in the series since Street Fighter 3, all the way back in 1997, a hiatus of 11 years. This is an excellent return to form for the series and the genre in general. Many people, though, had written off this series. Well, it looks like they were wrong with this one. 35. Madden NFL 2004 Released by EA Sports in 2003 on the PlayStation 2. Metacritic score 94. Madden NFL 2004 is the 15th instalment of the Madden NFL series of American football simulator video games, adding a mind-boggling level of depth in its owner mode, which lets you negotiate salaries, build stadiums, and, for the detailed obsessed, even set the prices of how much the popcorn costs. Number 34, Mass Effect 2, released by EA in 2010 on the PlayStation 3, Metacritic score of 94. Mass Effect 2 is an action role-playing video game which takes place within the Milky Way galaxy during the 22nd century, where humanity is threatened by an insectoid alien race known as the Collectors. One main thing makes Mass Effect 2 so great. Not the outstanding action, not the compelling story, the huge depth interaction or any of the other ways in which this game demonstrates its outrageously surfeit of quality. It's because this game is so coherent, you start to believe that you could actually live in it. 33. Bioshock, released in 2007 by Rational Games on the PlayStation 3, Metacritic score of 94. Bioshock is a first person shooter game which is set back in 1960 and follows Jack who discovers the underwater city of Rapture, built by business magnate Andrew Ryan to be an isolated utopia. The discovery of Adam, a genetic material which grants superhuman powers, initiated the city's turbulent decline. Really though, the only glowing weakness you can find in Bioshock is that it may be too unusual, too original, too artistic or too genius to be embraced by the general public. Please don't let this game become that forgotten though. It is a one of a kind masterpiece for sure. And of course we need many, many more sequels, not just the one that we got. We need more, come on. Number 32, Chrono Cross, released by Square Enix in 2000 on the PlayStation. Metacritic score, 94. Chrono Cross is a role-playing video game which the story focuses on a teenage boy named Serge and a theme of parallel worlds. Faced with an alternate reality in which he died as a child, nice, Serge endeavours to discover the truth of the two worlds divergence, a truly epic role-playing game experience that has cemented its place in the annals RPG history. Number 31, Madden NFL 2002, released by EA Sports in 2001 for the PlayStation 2, Metacritic score of 94. Madden NFL 2002 is again an American football simulation video game and is the 13th game in the series. Madden is even deeper this year with the return of Creator Team and the 2 minute drill, but that's not why my jock is still on the field. <laughs> Tiburon could have merely made these additions, but it went the remaining nine yards to make a football game that is that much closer to perfection, if it hasn't already been that. Number 30, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, released by Activision in 2007 for the PlayStation 3. Metacritic score of 94. The story takes place in the year of 2011, where a radical leader has executed the president of an unnamed country in the Middle East, and an ultra-nationalist movement ignites a civil war in Russia. Start to finish, online and off, Call of Duty 4 is solid gold. Some might decry the single player's short length, or that it's more of the same, but its amazing quality and the arcade mode more than make up for it. 
Infinity Ward has delivered on every front and there is no question, in my mind at least, that this is one of the best shooter games that have ever been made. Make sure if you're enjoying our list, hit that like button and of course subscribe for future content. 29 Devil May Cry, released by Capcom in 2001 on the PlayStation 2 with a Metacritic score of 94. Devil May Cry is an action-adventure game franchise created by Hideki Kamiya, I butchered that. The series centres on the demon hunter Dante in his efforts to fought the various demon invasions of Earth. Its gameplay consists of combat scenes in which the player must attempt to extend long chains of attacks, avoid damage and exhibiting stylish combat by varying their attacks. This combat, along with the time and the number of items collected and used, are considered in the grading of the player's performance in the battles. Every bit of Devil May Cry's been carefully orchestrated and the effort pays off. There's rarely a dull moment in this one. Number 28, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Released by Activision in 2002 for the PlayStation 2. Metacritic score of 94. Pro Skater 4 is a departure from the previous three games career mode, in which the player had a set amount of time in order to find and complete goals. 4 instead featured a career mode more similar to Free Skate, in which there was no time limit to explore the level, the goals are usually offered to the player to attempt by characters found within the level. Easily the best Tony Hawk game yet, an online multiplayer makes it the best complete package of the genre. 27 God of War, released by Sony in 2018 on the PlayStation 4, Metacritic 94. God of War is an action-adventure game developed by Santa Monica Studio. The game is the 8th installment of the God of War series and a sequel to 2010's God of War 3. Unlike previous games, which were loosely based on Greek mythology, this instalment is loosely inspired by Norse mythology, with the majority of it set in ancient Scandinavia in the realm of Midgard. In crafting a thoughtful fable about a man contending with surpassing his sins to keep them from his child, the new god of war has already transcended its bloody roots. Number 26, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, released by Activision in 2009 on the PlayStation 3. Metacritic score of 94. The game's campaign follows Task Force 141, a multinational Special Forces unit commanded by Captain Sirk McTavish as they hunt Vladimir Makarov, leader of the Russian Ultranationalist Party and the United States Army Rangers from the 1st Ranger Battalion who are defending the Washington DC area from a Russian invasion. The game is also known for its most infamous mission, No Russian, which simulates a mass shooting terrorist attack at an airport, which always goes down well. Modern Warfare 2 is a masterpiece of careful iteration with an unmatched presentation and a well of content that will take months for it to run dry. And finally for this one, 25, Final Fantasy IX, released by Square Enix in 2000 on PlayStation 1, Metacritic score of 94. The plot focuses on a war between nations in a medieval fantasy world called Gaia. And players follow a thief named Zidane Tribble who kidnaps Princess Gauntlet to Alexandros the 17th as part of a ploy by the neighbouring nation of Lidblum. He joins Garnet and a growing cast of characters on a quest to take down her mother, Queen Brane of Alexandria, who started the war. Final Fantasy could go on forever in creating its particular spin of the traditional heroic quest, and it would be a success every single time it does it. But I can't help feeling as if something that features this kind of majestic visual craftsmanship ought to host a story built with equal care. Okay, so that's it for today. So if you enjoyed it, punch the like button, comment down below, course, subscribe to the channel for my Twitter and Instagram links down below. As always, of course, I'll part my two buddies first in the description for YouTube and you tag titles, thumbnails, all that good stuff. So something you need help with, especially like I did. First in the description, download it today. Trust me, you'll wonder how you ever got on with it. And of course, for our partner channels, and they hit down below, hit that join button, support myself and the channel, and of course, get a huge range of benefits. Be greatly appreciated, but of course, you never have to. But if you don't, you have to subscribe, watch the next video, or something might follow you home. You never know, stuff happens. Okay, thank you very much. I'll see you all again very soon.